Hey Wildlings, Colin here, Wild Foods Founder CEO. Today I want to talk to you real quick, two minute video. The importance of cooking your food at home, prepping your meals, prepping your drink, your recipes. This is one of those big ideas that if you can put in your mind as a first principle and constantly remind yourself of, constantly focus on, constantly ask yourself, am I at home right now? Am I controlling the heat I'm using, the oils I'm using, the salt, the seasoning? Or am I eating out of a package? or at a restaurant. And then ask yourself this question. Am I seeing what's going into the food? Am I seeing what's going into these ingredients? Am I seeing how this is made? Even at the nicest restaurants where you might see the chef and they have this open air kitchen, you still don't know what's going on. And you don't know what's going on at the manufacturer level or the prep level, the transportation level. That's a broader topic for another day. But the first principle is your health is connected to the quality of ingredients you put in your body, the quality of the products you use. The more real food it is, as we call it, real food, the closer to nature, the closer to that real food natural end of the spectrum versus the man-made artificial end of the spectrum over here. The closer you can get everything in your life to this spectrum and you buy the raw, real ingredients, you prep them at home, you make your own recipes, you know exactly what's going on. This area is where health is found. And because food and what you consume, what you put in your body, the foods, the supplements, even the pharmaceuticals, these are the most important aspects of your health. These comprise something like 80% or more of your long-term health and longevity. Of course, stress, sleep, whether you do drugs, drink alcohol, those are other variables. But if your diet is out of whack, those just make it worse, right? If your diet is in check, well, you can mitigate those a little bit. I still don't recommend you do those. You need a holistic approach to life, sure. But food is one of those things that it's such a big thing in our life and we do it for most of us daily that if we have bad habits around our food, if we're eating foods that are not good for us, that's gonna compound over and over and over again, day in, day out for years on end. And that's why unfortunately we have amazing humans that are waking up one day with a diagnosis that is they have only a few years to live or they have cancer that they need to remove, or there was a biopsy and it's not looking good, or they you know, have heart disease or they need a triple bypass. I mean, it's like, this is, this is not needed. It's cruel and not fair, right? And I wanna do everything I can to fix it. But the only thing that I can really do, especially in front of a camera, is try to compel you, motivate you, inspire you to change yourself first and then help somebody else do the same, lead by example. And if we can do that more and more, we'll have a ripple effect. That's how we can reach millions. Things like this have to be movements. The slow food revolution, real food, cooking, sourcing local, these are all really great trends. They're all kind of disparate and they're not really as ubiquitous or as mainstream as they need to be. We need a complete food and health revolution. I mean, in some ways it's already going on. It's maybe at the, the beginning stages. I don't know, maybe it'll get worse before it gets better. I'm not, I'm not so sure on that. But if we look at some of the food trends and, and the processed food sales and like convenience foods on the rise, people aren't cooking anymore. I mean, the trends are not looking good. So the big idea, the one thing is, am I at home and am I prepping ingredients? for myself, my family. That, that, that's the question that every, you should ask every single time. And not, am I like pouring a box of mac and cheese into a bowl and microwaving it? I'm talking, if you were gonna even have mac and cheese, which I don't recommend, but if you're gonna have that, do you make it from scratch made pasta? Or do you make your own macaroni? 99% of people won't go there. But maybe you make a gluten-free version and you make your own homemade cheese sauce from raw cheese, for example. Um, I mean, the reality is for most people, if they were prepping meals like that, if they were scratch cooking at least most of their meals, it would have, in some cases, life-changing effect on their health and well-being. So that's a big idea for today that I want you to remind yourself of. Solidify in your mind, post on your fridge, have reminders on your phone that pop up, cook and eat my food at home because it will save my life. And if I'm actually actively trying to work on a goal, it's gonna help me get there 10 times faster. That's it for this Wild CEO Corner. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Any questions, comments, suggestions, do something with this information and I'll see you in the next one.